Now to Austria's state where the government has promised to work with the National Population Commission to ensure a safer environment for the success of the forthcoming National Population and Housing Census. Secretary to the state government, Teslim Ibalaye, said this while inaugurating the 2023 Census Security and Logistics Committee members for the state. The last National yeah. Population and Housing Census in Nigeria was held in 2006. In the last three years, the National Population Commission has embarked on plans to organize another exercise, which is now slated for this year. Enumeration area demarcation, trial censors, pretest, training of facilitators and supervisors, roadshow, and a lot of sensitization have also been carried out by the Commission. Here is the inauguration of security and logistics committee members for the exercise. The committee is chaired by the state governor with secretary to the state government, Teslim Iqbalaye, and the MPC federal commissioner, Mudashiru Zain, as co-chairman. We will link up with uh, the relevant bodies and uh, groups to ensure safe environment for the health camps. On this note, I call on the resident of Honshu State to cooperate and support the forthcoming exercise. We must maintain a safe and secured environment for population of officials. Mudashiru Zin says operations and success of the exercise depends largely on effective security. I want to assure all members of the Committee of Iron Cast support from the Commission. We are ready to fully support the Committee in all areas to make it succeed in its assignment. The Commission will, without delay, organize workshops on processes and methodologies for the census to keep members of the committee up to date on the preparation for the census. Members of the committee include the Nigerian Army, Air Force, Police, NSCDC, Immigration, FRSC, among others. It is the first digital census to be organized in Nigeria. Though the exercise has been postponed from March to May this year, the commission says the postponement is part of efforts to ensure a credible exercise is conducted, which will in turn reflect the accurate population of the country. The commission had addressed journalists in Oshubu, where it said 17,000 ad hoc staff have been employed to prosecute the exercise in Osho State. The commission has embarked and still embarking on capacity building to develop human and materials resources in preparation for the main census. This capacity building have started since 2022. The commission says public holiday will be declared by the federal government during the exercise, which will hold for five days. Rafi Hamid, TVC News, Shubu.